yeah. So like we are like we are here in Venice, uh, new exhibition, something that uh, it's like first time you you're gonna show up all together. Yeah. yeah. How is the feeling? Well, I'm very happy with this new work. This is um, one of my favorite shows I've I've done recently because it's it's all new work um, from the last ten years, and then early work from when I was a kid in the '80s and you know, some of those examples. So this is the first time a lot of the pictures have been seen ever. So I'm very excited to show them um, in Venice. So why, like in the press conference, you were speaking about um, the thing that you just like stopped to work with magazine, and how was the process that you arrived to decide I'm con gonna concentrate on something else now? Well, I was gonna be a farmer, and I, I just it was it's time. And I always listened to my intuition, and intuitively I was at the you know listening and saying it's time me to stop. At you know in the material world, I was at the at the height of Photography. I was, you know, um, contract with Italian Vogue, American Vogue, Vanity Fair. You know, working, uh, making, making lots of money. All those things that had, you know, would be uh, the dream of, 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 of a photographer and the lifestyle. But, um, but you know, I, I had said what I needed to say, and it was time to stop. And I felt this feeling more and more and more until finally I really had to stop and and, and stop everything and move away to Maui and. Um, I was going to be a farmer, and then I got a call to show in galleries, and that's where I started when I was a kid in New York at galleries. So life had come full circle. Had I not listened to myself, I could have been doing it. But, I, but if I had not listened to myself, I would have been making pictures for the wrong reasons, uh, to out of fear, out of fear for losing my place in uh, relevance. You know, a lot of people do, do things to stay relevant, and I didn't, you know, listen to those. Fears. I listened to faith, which is telling me stop. You've done that and now, and then um, life gave me a, a gift, a whole new chapter. The last 11 years has been a big new chapter in my life where I could do um, the type of pictures I want and, and use everything I learned in magazines and apply it to these pictures here. How to communicate the technique I learned to to make images. So I, I used all that I had done with magazines and, and now, um, you know, applied it to these photographs so I can really um, make pictures that are clear, clear of concept I want to, to um, communicate with people um, and also technically exactly how I want them to be. So this is a, for me the best work I've done. Okay, so, <clears throat> like, what's your relationship with the nature, somehow, if we can... Well, I think that a lot of times we can get very disengaged from nature by becoming so engaged with our social media, with our, with our um, electronics, and, and our, our phones, and, and computers, and um, social networking, things like this, can be very, um, make us very busy, it's very noisy, and just because we're busier does not mean we're getting more done. And sometimes solitude um, is very uh, lost and, and, and forgotten. And this is very important. If you don't have that, then you can't, cannot hear your intuition or that voice inside you, which will give you direction, um, which is your guide, tell you what's right and wrong for you, and how to conduct your life. Just one more question. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <clears throat> So like, I was like, I was like, is it complicated? Like the process, like, like you think, and then like to produce the photo because I think it's, there is a lot of like, like handcraft involved in making the picture. Do you think you, you're gonna continue in this way or? Yes, it's a very simple way of working in a, in a sense because um, working back in analog again and painting on the negatives, these ideas that I started experimenting with in the '80s and now using them um, for this new world series, Pictures of Paradise, photographing the un unphotographable or the miraculous. These things were really interest me. And this is a means to achieving uh, the, the, the final result, which is the photograph, which I hope will touch people and move them. Um, that's my goal, to touch people, to communicate them, to make them feel something. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you so much.